And here I am again, at this same truth. This time it hits deeper, much clearer. So much so that I just have to get my pen and somehow begin to express my indescribable love for her, our mother. The earth is my playground, my safe space, my home, my stage. It is my ultimate favourite, my most holy place. The garden is where I spend most of my time, hanging out with the birds, my feet in the mud and the seas, watching the epic dance of the trees as their leaves groove and move in the breeze. When I am lost, there I am found. And look over there, some flowers growing out of the concrete in the ground. Now isn't that profound? It is the place where I dance and sing where I learn the language and communicate with the earth and within. In my pain, it is always love and faith she brings. The place where I fall to my knees when I feel hopeless. She brings me the reminder of the limitless. And then I see a bumblebee making love to a flower and I am reminded that without this act, humans do not have any power. Wow, truly, what a wonderful world this is. How could I not trust when everything is full of gifts? After being in the garden, my body feels grounded. My heart feels cleaner. My breath is deeper. My mind much clearer. Me, freer. The song of life seems oh so much sweeter. The garden of Eden seems that little bit nearer. The garden reminds me. So many truths, simple ones. I am here, here, present, right here, right now, here. And guess what? Everything is okay, and it will be. <sighs> yes, for a moment I forgot that I was free. I forgot that life just wants me to be who I came here to be. I forgot that it's okay to experience emotion as deep as the sea. And I remember, I remember that when I see that flower making love with that bee, I remember that I have time and relaxing is the key. There is time, no need to rush. Let go and let love. Go into the garden and connect with the above. Marvel at creation when it all gets too much. The colours of the flowers, the intricate nature of the birds and insects, the patterns on the spider's web, how all of the streaming rivers somehow lead again into the sea, and the magic omens and messages that animals hold for me. The incredible little mouse coming out of his tiny house, and I gaze at the penny wall and hemlock growing next to each other from the same soil. Eating one would bring me longevity and the other would end my life, and the depth of the mycelium kingdom, and the roots of all the trees that are all connected, and their leaves and twigs that fall become the nests for babies of birds with the most fascinating call. Shows me just how important the little things are, and how wonderful it is to be alive. This is one of those moments we arrive when I realise this has been happening since the beginning of my life, since the beginning of time. How could I have experienced so much distrust in the divine? But I am human, after all. To know one, we must know the other. And this I choose to remember the next time I'm thrown a curveball.